faceless, we were born for guns. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all the things I bought already for my 2022 Hellcat. And yes, you are seeing double, except that is a 392 scat pack that is for sale on Facebook Marketplace. I've had over a hundred messages so far, and I can't figure out who's legit and who's not. So this may be here for a little while, which is totally cool with me. Even though it looks like I have twins, but they're beautiful twins, aren't they? God, I'm a proud father. These are gorgeous. Let's talk about all the things I already bought for the Hellcat that I'll be putting on the next week as they arrive at the house. And we're gonna go get the windows tinted today with full limo tint, which I believe is gonna look spectacular. Let's jump on the road. So it has been seven days since my Hellcat got delivered after waiting almost five months to get the car. And it showed up with 21 miles on it. And as of right now, I have 46 miles on it because I didn't drive it this week. It's like getting a new pair of shoes. You don't want to take them out of the box right away. You want to make sure they're perfect for a little while. And I had to drive a lot this week all over Southern California. And I just didn't want to burn the miles on the Hellcat because I still have my scat pack. I've had close to 100 messages from people wanting to buy the scat pack. And I got to tell you, when you put something on Facebook Marketplace, the, it feels like the majority of them are just absolute clowns. Can I come see the car? Can I come drive the car? Can I come do this? It's a brand new car almost. I mean, look, nine months old, 12,000 miles, and it's chronicled on YouTube, which I put in the ad. They can go look at it and pull the VIN number and do the Carfax, and the car is fine, but my gosh, there's a lot of tire kickers because I think what they want to do is show up and drive the car and then lowball me and think that they've got me over a barrel. The thing is, is I can keep that car for the rest of my life and it will not change my life whatsoever financially, so I'm not in any major hurry. I love that car, I enjoy driving that car, and it's really cool having an extra car. With that said, I gotta buy my daughter a car at some point, so I don't wanna have oh, that many cars in the driveway for no reason. So it's gonna get sold, but I'd rather sell it to somebody who's gonna love it, take care of it, and respect it, and frankly, I will sell it for less money for somebody that I feel will do that. And if it's one of you, message me on Instagram and let's just get right down to the point and I will give you a great deal on the car because you are one of my subscribers. When I say great deal, I mean, you know, look, I started off thinking 60, I went down to 55.9, I got 100 messages, I think I put it at 53.5. I mean, honestly, if somebody came in at 52 or something, I mean, I'm reasonable. I'm just having a lot of trouble wrestling with all the clowns on Facebook Marketplace. I'm sure you can understand and that just is how it is. But if I if I really get frustrated, I'll just go drop it off at uh, at CarMax for fifty grand or something. But I'd rather sell it to somebody who's going to enjoy it because I've enjoyed it and I love that car. So let's talk about what I'm doing to this car. So after a week of owning it, not doing anything with it other than taking it out on the road and removing that horrible, ugly pink thing from the front. Hopefully, you all do that. And if you're currently driving around with a yellow banana on the front, please remove that from your car. Every time I see one, it's just it's cringy. It's literally reached a place of cringiness. And I'm sorry if you have yours on there and if you're a subscriber and you love the channel and suddenly you're unsubscribing because I said that, I'm just telling you the truth and your best friends will always tell you the truth and consider me one of those people. Take the front splitter guard off your car and drive the car the way it was intended to be driven and make it look beautiful. So yes, that thing is off the car. Now I'm headed to limo tent all the windows and those of you who felt that uh, muscle car shouldn't be tinted. That's cool. That's your car. Do whatever you want with your car. I'm going to limo tint these suckers so dark nobody can see me in them. But the tint is going to look beautiful, so I'll show you that later in this video. And now let's talk about the things that I bought already for the car, which I'm excited about. Of course, the first few days I had the car, I jumped on to um, Amazon and eBay and other websites, and I started ordering things. So it starts off with the puddle lights, and I found them in blue with the Hellcat logo. So I'll show you a picture right now, and those will be here in a few days. And I just love the puddle lights. When you open the front and back doors, those lights shine down at night, and it always gives an ooh and awe from anybody who sees it. So those will be going on there. Let's make sure my camera's going. So those will be going on there uh, very soon. If you're interested in those, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also put a link for the Scat Pack puddle lights as well, because I have those on my Scat Pack, and I think they look awesome with the B. Now this one's likely to trigger some of you, because a real car guy would not order a rear diffuser from Amazon, but it turns out that the same rear diffusers on eBay and on other websites 
happens to be on Amazon and I get it a lot faster that way. So I found the Icon Motorsports rear diffuser and frankly they all are made in China and they all look the same unless you go to uh, you know some specialty company. These will easily replace the OEM rear diffuser and snap right in and I think they look good. Some of you may not but that's okay. I like it and it's easy to get, easy to put on, easy to take off if I hate it and it's a couple hundred bucks and remember if you do this and you have a wide body make sure you get the one for the wide body because most of them out there are not for the wide body. I had to hunt for the one for the wide body and I will be putting that on on a future video as well and I just think it looks great. And I'll put a link for that in the description below as well. And the next thing I ordered, which I've done for every single one of my Challengers or Chargers, are the marker light tint and the tail light tint from Lux Auto Concepts. And they now have an awesome tail light tint that you can put your logo, you can put a word or words into the tint in the center of the tail lights, which I think looks great. I'll show you what it looks like on my scat pack. And that will be here in a couple days as well, and I'll black out all these lights to match the black windows that are getting put on today. And the last thing I ordered, which this is the first time I've ever done this with one of my cars, and I decided on this one after doing lots of research the last couple nights, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because I want the loudest possible supercharger whine that I could get. And the way to do that is with a leg maker cold air intake. So the LMI intake is on order. It's about 500 bucks and it looks like I'm going to be able to install it myself, which will be a great video because it'll probably be slightly disastrous, but I will get it done. I will be successful and it will sound amazing. And every video I watched, it just brings alive that supercharger wine. But what about warranty? You always said you never ever would do anything to the engine that would void warranty. So everywhere I've read, and even a friend of mine at one of the Dodge dealerships, in service said it's not going to void your warranty unless the failure the warranty claim is related to that cold air intake so if I put that cold air intake on and as a result I suck a bolt into my engine because I did a horrible install my warranty is going to be void makes sense if I don't put it on right and it falls off and it sucks a bunch of gravel into the engine it's not going to be covered but if I do it right and there's a failure later on, and it has nothing to do with the cold air intake, they have to cover it. With that said, you can also easily remove that cold air intake when you take it in for service, put everything back to normal, and it'll be fine. Oh, and one more thing. I've had a few of you ask me, what is it like driving the Hellcat? I'm gonna do a whole video on the comparison from the Hellcat to the Scat Pack to the Red Eye, so stay tuned for that. But I'll just give you the heads up right now that my thought that maybe the tires wouldn't spin as much on the Hellcat versus the Hellcat Red Eye, which felt like the power was relatively useless because I could never get traction at any speed it felt like, um, I was wrong. The Hellcat spins just as much as the Red Eye and it feels just as fast as the Red Eye. So uh, it's almost indistinguishable, but the more I drive it, the more I'll figure that out and I'll come up with some talking points I'll share with you. But right now this thing spins and here's why, because those crappy tires that Dodge delivers the car with. So I believe I am going to absolutely make it a mission of mine to smoke the rubber off of these tires until there is nothing left so that I don't have to store them in my garage and I'm gonna go buy myself some much better stickier tires. I'm in California. I don't need all season tires. I need sticky tires so this thing can get traction and I can actually enjoy the power that came with this car a little bit more than I can with these tires on. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna get those tires. Now let's go get these windows down. It's time that you go. All right, so here's a quick before, so I can go to the after and show you what it looks like once it's tinted. But this is the fishbowl look. No tint on any of the windows. So I'm going to snap my fingers for you all. It's just gonna be a couple of minutes. And for me, it's gonna be a few hours. But look, it does not look good. It looks like a Hertz rental car with a Hellcat logo. So we're going to fix that now. I didn't get to take a picture of you. For the magazine. 
for the magazine. I got you for the magazine. Pose. All right, give me the face. Give me the blue steel face. <laughs> Uh, I I'm not strip down. <laughs> <laughs> no, not again. That was scary last time. <laughs> Ceramic, limo, blacked out. I don't want anybody to see me in there because I'm famous. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Hey, I don't blame you with the SRT. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. Hey, the only thing you're missing here. Yeah? What's what? Door edge protectors. If you have Amazon, get it yourself. Don't yeah. get it from the dealer. Well, yeah. I just don't want anybody to see them because they look weird, you know. No. Okay. Yeah. When you have, when you have, when it comes to the look and to the safety, which one you go for? Look, look. I'm, I'm with you. Look, okay, completely. Safety, bye -bye. So this will be the fifth car you guys have yeah. done. <laughs> so yeah, limo, ceramic, good stuff. Okay. Make another for fifty. How much? Four fifty. You got it. I'll okay. bring you cash though. Don't worry. I'll bring you five hundred. How about that? Make yeah, it five hundred. We got a deal. Four fifty. Make it five hundred. We got a deal. All right, cool. Thank I like you. negotiating with you I'll guys. I'll try to, yeah, so. <laughs> I'll try to finish it back then. I mean, around then, so we'll take my time. Yeah, no worries, dude. All right, thanks, thank man. So All right, see you in a bit. These guys do the best job for the best prices, which is why I always negotiate up with these guys, because anywhere else I take my car, to get ceramic tint, limo, all the way around, done to the quality job that they do, it would cost me six, seven hundred bucks. As a matter of fact, that's most of the quotes out there here in Southern California, so their pricing is outstanding. So if you live anywhere near Riverside, California, and I drive a little ways to get here from Orange County, Riverside Window Tint, 785-9773, Erica 951. See Ahmed, his partner, these guys are awesome, and they will take great care of you. And they're pretty quick too, always do it in one day, about a half a day or so. So now I'm gonna get an Uber, get home, his wife's too busy to take me back today, and then we will be back in just a minute to show you how this fishbowl comes out with the new window tint. A few moments later. And look what just arrived. My rear diffuser. Perfect timing. Let's check this thing out. Hopefully it's good quality. All right, so this thing was 200 bucks from Amazon. So I know I'm gonna hear crap in the comments about this one, but let's see. I bet you it's not bad. I bet you it's actually good. And if I hate it, it's only 200 bucks. And it came in like two days. And I bet you it's the exact same thing as the other one I've got. And they're all made in the same place. And yep, looks perfect, looks beautiful. Look at that, it looks exactly like the other one. And it's easy to install, looks good. It's not too crazy. I'll put a link in the description. Honestly, this thing looks awesome. It's perfect. All right, let's go pick up my car and see how those windows came out. All right, car's done. Wife is here. Let's go pick up my Hellcat and see how it looks. Where would you like to go? Riverside Tent. Okay, here's what I found. That's tent. That's tent. We don't need a tent. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong guy. <laughs> we do need a tent. Riverside Auto Tint. Getting directions to Riverside Performance Auto Tint. Giddy up. Look, I have a hole in my tent. How did you do that? I didn't. I don't know what happened. It's been like that for a while. He'll fix it for you. All right, thank you for the ride. You're welcome, my friend. All right, you guys have fun. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> let's see it, man, we're back. Hey, she's got a little hole in her window. We're gonna bring this thing back. <laughs> How you doing? See, see she got a little, okay. see a little hole? We gotta okay. bring it back. I'll, I'll take care of it. Get it fixed. Thank you so much. Nice right. to see you all, all the right. time. She puts her face up against the window and her, her <laughs> braces, when she had braces, she'd be like this, and then her braces put a little hole in the tent. No, they did. Yeah, they did. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thank 500. You. Keep the change. You. Thank you so I'll much. I'll see you soon. Thank you God bless you. See you. God bless you. Uh, uh, as usual, keep it up for a couple days, huh? Never is one day. Yeah, roll them up and down right now? Yeah. Roll them up and down now? No, no. No, I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I won't. I'll put it in the garage. I'll be right back. So All right, take care, dude. All right, let's check this thing out. See how it looks. What's up, man? How's it going? 
I didn't see you this morning. You were sleeping in. Yeah, I know. How are you? <laughs> you were sleeping hey, in. Good to see you. He was talking trash. He's like, water, you know what? Water, I'm at sleeping in. How you been doing? Cuddling with his teddy bear. I'm good, dude. Yeah, we miss you, my brother. Sometimes yeah. come well, up with your lights. Well, to thanks God. for doing the Tesla. My wife, my boss's Tesla. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, you do a good job. Thank you. So I got my new Hellcat. I love you, my brother. He's old, he's old, he be, my Tesla says 35 years old. Oh, oh wow. Years. So I'm gonna bring you my Lamborghini. I gotta take all the window tint off. Oh. Uh -huh. That's hard, right? Yeah, I yeah. need maybe a day or two. I gotta take my time. But don't worry about it. I'll, leave it all time. I'll bring it next week. Bring it in the morning. And then limo tin it because it's not dark enough. It's good to see you, my brother. Yeah. Hey, good to see you guys too. Like five, five, four in the morning. Yeah, yeah five in the morning. Yeah, call well, he'll be here. You'll be in bed. Don't call me. <laughs> all right, see you guys later. All right, take care, guys. All right, see you. Ooh, look at that Bronco. That's awesome. We're starting to deliver these things a lot more now, huh? All right, here it is. Limo tinted windows on the Hellcat. Doesn't it look so much better? Wouldn't you agree? I mean, it just changes the entire look of the car. Absolutely love this. The back, super dark. I mean, look at this, you can't see in. You can't see in. That is the way to go. Oh yes. These guys do such a great job. Love it. I'll put their phone numbers in the description. If you're out in this area in Riverside or Orange County, California, come see these guys. They are awesome at their job. Beautiful. All right. So uh, let me know what you think below. And if you don't like tint on these cars, then you're just a strange person. But that's okay. Still love you. Looking good. All right, so please like, subscribe, comment, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.